welcome. I'm your host, Junia Frederick, and this is a recap of Emancipation 2022. And with me today, Raisa Joseph, the Executive Director of the Folk Research Center, Cecil Charles, aka Charlo, Manager of Takeover Tent and Soka Village. Good morning and welcome. Merci, merci. A few juniors, no photo for me. See, I put all the assignments. If I see all the people, I see all the when when they put no catch it, they put no wait for you. Some. Thank you very much. Um, it's always a pleasure to impart knowledge and so on. And Charlo always makes sure that he is part of anything when it comes to the development of the art and culture in Saint Lucia. Okay, thank you. And of course, we'll get right into it, and we will play a, a clip of. Uh, some of the highlights of Emancipation 2022. For too long, we have hidden the truth of our history in the furthest recesses of our minds, almost as if we have been reluctant to admit it. Celebrating Emancipation Day, therefore, is to celebrate the victory of our ancestors over the system that enslaved them. Celebrating em Emancipation Day is to say that we are strong enough to overcome the slavery of our times, poverty, high unemployment, violent crime, and underemployment. Last year's Emancipation, which is the same theme for this year, enkindling our consciousness. Now, we just watched the clip and... I would just like to get from you in terms of what you thought about the drums and dance ritual and specifically what you thought about the activities that we had for that day. Um, if coming out at four o'clock in the morning was a very good idea. <laughs> and in terms of you being there and your experience, how you interpreted it and from what you perceive from the general public, people's reaction, and um, going forward, how is this going to add to the value of emancipation? So we can start off with Cecil. Okay, thank you very much. Last year, it was a nice experience. It brought back memories in terms of even the juve itself at carnival time i mean i was there, there very early and so on people were really excited people were looking forward to something that they had not seen for a long long time the theme itself you know was very captivating in, in the sense that it opened up people's minds and uh, to the ideas and so on and maybe bringing them to the realization that look we finally have something where we could really look at our history, we could look at what is happening to us and so on, and how we move forward with it. There was a buzz, there was excitement. I mean, the whole question of just coming down from by the Loose Lake area, down to the, to the, to, to the, to the sea area there, um, that in itself was really, really, really exciting. It was really, thing. I mean, those people were on the sidewalk, people were in the dancing and so on. And apart from that, what you also notice is there were a lot of young people, children and so on. So it was not the only older persons and so on. So there, it, it, by doing that, what it was actually doing, it was actually a learning experience for them. They were actually things that they might have heard before, but they had never experienced it before. And here they were experiencing it. And if we continue in that vein, I think, you know, in the next two, three, four, five years, we will have that big consciousness that we are talking about that would really lift up the society in St. Lucia. First, Tabua, Kite, Fetasu, Julie, and Spasso, Tabo. It is a manner to know, observe, and Spasso, and the manner to connect for the whole of the consciousness. Puis, à chaque fois, je sais que si tu as passé juste à la la caillou, tu vas aller à son plage, tu vas quand même savoir tout qui nous y a un jour pour nous réfléchir pour quoi nous-mêmes. Et puis pour moi, il était important pour voir mon vie. Ce matin-là, moi, tu as vu à sous télévision, moi, tu as vu fort. Et puis, il a marché à l'esprit. Mais pour moi-même, quand tu as l'audi, il était une expérience pour pas seulement ma mère, mais pour moi. Sort de voir quoi, pour ne plus pour Gade qui côté nous a qui m'a affecté nous actuellement ça là. Mais nous servir tambour en musique. Il y a un gros rôle en émancipation, c'est nous pour 
font assez tôt pour garder et examiner. C'est pour ça que je fais une um, activité à Thébou. Merci, merci, merci à ça. Mais, um, ce que je crois pour moi, être um, part de l'événement, la um, plupart des personnes disent que ça avait une énergie qui était différente. And it sort of allowed you to to be reverent about it, especially the part where we call the names of slaves, and they were all part of one plantation in Fordo, owned by Baron de Bocage. And it what struck me there was a woman who said, what really got her was that some of these names, most of them had the same last name, and it occurred to her that these were actual families. And I think that um, it is a feature that we should keep and remember and call the names of those um, that we are, we are really standing on the shoulders of. And so for me, that event was in celebration of our culture, celebration of our history, and bringing us face to face with the, the reality that we are indeed a nation. Mm -hmm. So. For me, drums and dance ritual was, was for me was the hi the highlight. But there were other events that were were different. For instance, a panel discussion. And right, so I don't know if you can speak to that in terms of did we achieve our objective in terms of its reach and um, really discussing the dispensation of land in Saint Lucia. Okay. L'énergie qu'a caché les cas réfléchis nous a été ni un goal à pouvoir cette mission nous de nous garder comment comment se met l'histoire nous et puis pendant l'excursion là il passe cette chaîne de garder qui manie nous bail et c'est pas ouais c'est et mon égé anika affecte nous actuellement sur la côté mon cas construit cas et mon panité qui pas vous mettre pour terre mon égé cas souffre et puis mon quoi mon qui te veille pour voir mon anté ni um, neuf informations à ce manier vous affectez qu'à affecter mon assiette ici uh, manier au cas de savoir ma maillot l'école puis je parle de pour aller en bas là pour servir manier non ni du tout bagarre en école de la loi nous qui t'a mis des familles en combat et puis on a l'autre et puis ça c'est bien important when we spoke about the dispensation of land in Saint Lucia it gave us an opportunity to examine how a lot of our people are disenfranchised because of policies of the colonial period that did not adequately dispense of land. Many of the persons who own land were either plantation owners and wealthy individuals who later on, a lot of them passed on their wealth to churches. And you found that the descendants of formerly enslaved persons who owned lands for, for centuries, for years, but they never got title to it. And even the practice of perhaps family land, for example, put persons in a situation where you have multiple persons who have access to land, but the land is not adequate to even separate among them. And that has created a lot of issues. And even persons leaving the enslaved experience, not having anything, not getting paid for their labor, not having a place to settle down, you really create a, a class of people who are nomads and, and, and rumors. And sometimes we look at squatters in a very, huh, how would I even class it, in a way that they don't belong, that they're just people who are vagabonds, but they are people who are displaced, who have no place to go, who cannot access land due to the costs and prices, and who end up in situations that are marginalized. And it creates a problem. And that's why even programs when we look at proud, for example, they matter to regularize status so that persons do not live in situations that create greater social issues. So it's coming to that, someone would say, I'm just asking a question. I mean, really, what is the importance of discussing that? I mean, where does that go? Mm -hmm. Is that significant for us, for us to know? Mm -hmm. Well, say no di no ni na tie we a development pet pay se ni si. Kote moun ka vive, ek leve mama yo, toujou bi important. 
if you are not concerned with the human development of the people, how they live, whether they have clean or running water, it creates conflicts that will eventually knock on your door. And we see it every day. We have the encroachment of private sector enterprises on where people live, unplanned development. It creates issues within the hurricanes. It's no idea that a cyclone. Mm -hmm. And we know that when persons are placed or live along river banks, they go on this court. It creates issues where people's lives are imperiled. It has environmental impacts and issues. We know persons who live in these particular conditions, a lot of them are impoverished and they become vulnerable to a lot more individuals preying on them and it eventually will create a, an uprising in the society where you have no choice but to deal with it. So in essence you're saying in kindling our consciousness is, only, is not only about a look at the past and a sort of a celebration of the act of emancipation, the event, but it is more than that. Mm -hmm. It's that consciousness to look at historically where we have come from and the impact of it today. So in terms of the impact of it today historically, I have often wondered, was the breadfruit really brought here <laughs> or is it indigenous to St. Lucia? And I'm asking that, Charlie, <laughs> because for emancipation um, last year, there was a, the Anglican Church did an entire um, exhibit on the breadfruit. Now, I'm curious, so answer all of the questions. Okay, um, when, when, when we found out the, out the breadfruit festival, we, we saw the linkage with it and the whole question of, of um, in, um, persons who were basically enslaved. Um, the breadfruit was, yes, it was brought, uh, it wasn't, it didn't come from that era. Actually, I think the first breadfruit tree is actually in St. Vincent and it's still there. And what it did basically was to provide um, the, 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 the nutrients, I, I would guess, or the food. It was a, a, a cheap um, commodity for the, for the planters who, of course, was in, who were the ones who were responsible for taking care of whoever was enslaved on the plantation. Um, the breadfruit itself, of course, in terms of volume and so on, you take a breadfruit tree and, I mean, you just see the amount of things that could happen in terms of how much it produces. Um, what, we tr what we start to also do is to make people realize that there are other pro byproducts that you could actually have from the breadfruit. And that in itself was also to look at the whole question of food security. Food security is very, very important. If you know, notice the whole Im food import bill, we're talking about millions of dollars. And that was one way of saying, look, you could do the bread, the, instead of the, um, the, the chips and so on, you could have breadfruit chips. You, there are a lot of the breadfruit punch. So many things could be produced from that. You would also notice too that when it's bread for what we call breadfruit season, most of it is spoiled. And not only the breadfruit, you could think of a number of, of, of foods there, whether it is the mango, the bananas, just whatever it is. And what we are saying is that, look, we have so much of that here that we could have our younger people being able to use it, the breadfruit balls, the this, the that, and so on, and not just giving them a good touch, you know, a good touch, right? And that in itself, because food, of course, is presentation. And when you have those big touch, I mean, our grandmothers and them would have just sat down with, you know, free touch of breadfruit and eat that. Of course, we know what eventually happened also, the whole question of diabetes. So even in terms of the portions, all right, that in itself is important. So the Anglican Church, which of course was involved in slavery, yes, the yes. Anglican Church had slaves, but then um, we know that they have to be a situation and we know the reason why they were involved. Um, I heard earlier um, Riza mentioned in the whole question with, with, of land, where you had a lot of um, parishioners giving the church land instead of the, the family, and now the families now have to find themselves having to buy land at what, how much a square foot, $20 a square foot and that kind of thing. We should of course have to take, put them on a back burner. Had their grandmothers and great grandmothers, you know, pass on that land to them. They would not be in that kind of situation right now with the mortgages and that kind of thing. So, so yes, it is very, very important that we look at those things. So although the church was involved in slavery, but it is trying to, I guess, redeem itself. Because so is that redemption part of hosting 
the exhibition in Beaufort at the Anglican Church. So Roger, you, you will tell us about the, I'm doing it then, that experience. So is that part of the redemption process? Right. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're going on. All right, so you had the, um, the Caribbean Ties exhibition, which is an exhibition that, that is actually um, showing the movement of our people, our earlier persons, into the Caribbean where they settled and so on. So that was done by Leiden University. This exhibition was first hosted at the American Annex, and it is under the auspices of the Archaeological and Historical Society. And during that time last year with the emancipation, we felt it fitting because the Archeo sorry, Archaeological Historical Society is about um, looking at our history, archaeology, and so on. So it was very, very fitting that we were able to have that exhibition involved with the whole emancipation process. And if you notice, it was held at the Anglican Church in Viewford. The Anglican Church in Viewford actually is on the plantation. Eh? Right, so all of that, and we know um, when Riser talk about the old question, a lot of the lands being owned by the church. But if you notice, if you look at the Viewfort area, a lot of the lands, um, we don't want to call them squatters, but persons who settle on the land, some of them, um, they, they, they pay a, a, monthly, a monthly rental, some of them do not. But the Anglican church itself is trying to redeem itself, as I would say, with the new leadership of the Anglican Church. Um, I speak of Ashley Glasgow and his wife. And if you notice, they are, of course, they are Caribbean people. Ashley Glasgow is actually from St. Vincent. So that whole historical thing, him being also a farmer, so he understands what is happening. And with that experience, you know, um, he is able to realize the problems that exist and looking for solutions to deal with that. So yes, the Anglican Church is not just what it was before, but we are more community-based. We, we are concerned about the climate and everything that exists, the culture of our people and so on, and we have to know that we have to work within the culture of the people. Yeah, and but we that have to be exhibition was also in collaboration with South Lewis. With South Lewis, right, yeah. Did an entire exhibition on, on slavery. On slavery. So, uh, I mean, what was the reaction of persons from you fought in the launch? Tell us about that, 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 that feeling of opening that exhibition in the church, the ceremony. Yeah, well, a lot of people got to understand, and if I, if I, one, one of the surprising things, that, you know, there are people who did not know that this was an Anglican church. They did not even realize it was an Anglican church. Now, that's a church that has been there over 70 years, you know. Right up from here. <laughs> you know, uh, 70 years. So that exhibition in itself opened up the awareness that you have an, Ang an Anglican church because one of the things we noticed is that they, they ch it, there was not even the name of the church. Right, so they just felt it was a building, some people thought it was a lodge, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, and it's right opposite the square. So that in itself, and I'm happy too that the, the sovereign division of the Sir Arthur Lewis was also involved in that, because there again, um, you are able to impart knowledge, you know, um, on awareness again, the whole question of reclaiming, making us understand where we came from and where we are going, and understanding that we are not going to be cut stuck in that mood, but we have to learn from those past lessons and don't find ourselves getting back into those things. So the whole question of reclaiming, the consciousness, making people aware, that in itself, apart from the, the, the physical things that were happening, the concerts and so on, but the whole education of the mind, that to me is very, very, very important. And if we continue in that vein, then maybe, um, well, not maybe, we will see a difference in people's attitude to national things and so on. And as Raisa said, we talk about people just took this thing as a holiday to go to a beach and so on. But I'm sure from what we saw last year, persons realize that there is a connection with them, their development, and what is happening in terms of the future of this country. Now you mentioned concerts. We will look at that and look at the Freedom Concerts and its impact and talk about um, uh, Sufre Foundation. And so that's the nutshell of what we're to discuss next. And when we go to the break, um, before we, do, we go to the break, um, we, we, go, I will, we will look at this photograph. It's a photograph of the fishermen at the harbor at the drums and dance ritual. So we also want to discuss the context of that and the concert. 
Bueno, un chido. fishermen in the harbor coming in um in terms of that what significance that has to our emancipation i know we dress them up in headpieces and they did a whole formation a, a pattern in 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 reference to that how significant is that does that have any sort of symbolic meaning in reference to emancipation our consciousness and I know that uh, Walcott speaks and he says the sea has history and he makes a lot of connections with fishermen. He writes about them. Omaras is about um, fishermen. So how is that significance in our history and making that connection to emancipation and kindling our consciousness? We can vive emancipation all the day. And nous garder la main et puis pêcher car entrer à ce qu'on est. Nous carrément changement les visages nous t'es venu ici puis sur pas t'es venu pas choyo à l'autre monde mené yo et choisi monsieur Jaren Milovic in your sculpture les les arts all in côté nous carrément yo car entrer à ce qu'on est et qui car montrer nous quoi pays qui indépendant qui m'a donné nous pour faire un mouvement ensemble. Nous avons célébré la fête péché. Et nous savons que c'est un pays qui a vécu à sous-pression et qui a fait des choses comme ça. Nous ne pouvons pas réfléchir à ce monde qui a travaillé à l'industrie de la Chine. Il est important pour faire assurer que la Kenya Chine gagne un système d'émancipation et qui a fait des choses pour le péché qui a entré à son domaine. Pour montrer que nous sommes un neuf chemin pour le nous ne pouvons garder qui nous qui a participé, mais nous ne garder pour nous. Et puis, la mère, nous sommes ici, à ce qu'on a mais en même temps, nous avons une libération à ce qu'on a aussi. Je ne peux pas dire que chaque monde, nous même pas réfléchir à ce qu'on a fait, qui est entré dans cette ici, qui est ce qu'on a senti, qui est la vie que nous avons vécu. Et pour moi-même, ça a été un bagage qui était important pour tout ce que je But in terms of, were you anticipating, I mean, you were part of a committee, but did you anticipate that scene coming in at that time? And what was the, what was, what was your feeling? And I'm going to direct this to Charlo. What was your feeling at the time? Because some person said when they came in, they got goosebumps and they felt this emotional connection. So, in, the, in terms of that, Chalo, how did that go down for you? The whole thing, and when you put it in the, in the context of the ancestral spirits, eh? and that was that's something that we, we are missing out. That early morning, that dawn of day, bringing a new day. Mm -hmm. Okay, we talked about, of course, the expectation of what the day gonna be, you have life and so on, and you're starting it off in that almost, you know, a serene kind of way. The calmness, the coolness, you notice, I mean, the sea itself was calm, you know, and it was just nostalgic that, you know, we could look and understand the whole question of the life of a fisherman, the sea itself to us. And in terms of what it what it what it does, yes, we were enslaved, we were forced out, we were enslaved people, we did not come here by chance. But look at what has happened since then. And then even in in, in, in connecting the sea at that time with the land, okay, that in itself is, is very, very, very important. And you look at the folks, who are the fishermen? Mm -hmm. Okay, what we might refer to as ordinary persons, but they are providing a very valuable, they're making a very valuable contribution to the development of this nation. Yes, coming out from a bad experience, but looking at what could happen now with what, how they are able to 
use that now as a trade income economic development for them and all of that you know it was just captured in that moment on that morning yeah but well, for me the represented and they represented um something for me in terms of their contribution to saint lucia mm -hmm. and we take it for granted when the, these boats come in and we hear balau, balau, mm -hmm. that we don't understand that these persons are part of our society and they go out there and it's part of whether we want to accept it or not it's a tradition even well i know now we don't use the gourmet boats anymore but the whole style of the fishing boat and, and the going out before the crack of dawn that is part of our tradition our fishing tradition so i think at that point i almost shed a, a, a tear <laughs> when they when they came in and it's part of allowing all of us to experience experience that and in terms of that experience so we did that in the morning and we went all the way to Sufre. do you think Sufre has a significance historically and for us choosing to do the freedom concert in Sufre, did that work in terms of a heightened consciousness and highlighting Sufre as a place that has deep rooted history probably the tout formé dans cette décennie à l'histoire émancipation expressement souffrir souffrir ou ça on y a place côté va pour fond joli ça pas accident mais à chaque des temps là nous garder système éducation nous maman et l'école pas même connaître ça et nous pour moi d'école nous pour chi yo pas connaître ça dans nos chaînes activité freedom concert là à souffrir nous avons manier il faut recommander pas seulement je souffrir mais au lieu de payer à venir ensemble pour célébrer l'émancipation et puis musique et puis danser traditionnel c'est ici puis libération pas seulement pour um, un couteau uh, physique pour pour tout le monde c'est un côté côté au cas faire faut changer qui mon oui et puis on pas dit esclavage je sais mon pas qu'il y a associé manière c'est um, c'est quoi l'homme là tu veux détruire nous pour nous pas savoir tout nous pour nous pas parler langue nous pour pas pas danser pas servir tambour puis à la loi c'est ici pour pas se poser bat tambour pour que pour pour que vous quoi ça ça est content puis moi veut détruire l'amour pour pas changer tout nous nous Là nous ni célébration pour ça qu'on est musique on ni chanter que police monter mon dieu mais nous garder manier nous même qu'à continuer délai système là qui était ca qui était nous délai en temps passé et manier là style ni changement qui ni pour pouvoir pour pour nous dire nous c'est en place qui est dépendante et puis pour dire aussi nous libre in terms of the freedom concert we collaborated with the Sufre Foundation and the Sufre Council and the support that we got from them, the, the energy, even being at the, the, the concert. I mean, when I uh, turned, turned around, I, I figured there were more than 5,000 people there. And it really showed that persons are interested and that there's a hunger to know, to know about ourselves, to understand ourselves and know who we are. So how do we justify a concert? Because Persons may say, you have a concert for everything, a peace concert. Does doing that activity have significance? What were, were the actual benefits of it? And if any of you can answer into Charlo or Isa, what do you see as the tangible benefits of doing that? But when you have a Charlo Pali, de là on peut demander qui manie nous permettez valer à sur les attaques c'est ici pour commencer puis nous ni un vieux quartier côté si à balai pas à faire l'argent il pas important pour nous mais à différents pays il y a ni statues pour mon qui a pour vous mettre pour libération il y a ni différents balais pour célébrer peu pays yo les quatre juin juillet l'année beau spectacle Peace, 
C'est pareil ça là qu'a resté à solider mon. Il a changé. Pas seulement là où il y a bagay, ça c'est à part l'éducation. Éducation c'est tout, tout ça où qu'a vivre. Musique là où qu'a écouté. C'est pour toi où qu'a ouais. Tout ça bien pour toi. Si nous dit nous voulons célébrer l'émancipation, nous ne pouvons pas avoir une expérience côté de ça où il y a différents différents côtés de l'air où ça parle où ça n'y a lecture où ça allait dire place l'école mais musique ni ni un goal là nous garder musique caïso qui a dit l'histoire de la manière qui qui ne peut pas changer musique là de là où pas jamais un voyage à ce à ce à bosser mais si là ni un chanté ou pas qu'on est chanté même puisqu'il chantait à jouer il jouait il jouait il jouait ou qu'on est chanté à pour tu ou pas chaque monde qu'on est qu'on joue un western tous les dimanches ou qu'à tant de chansons ça là et qui a affecté, qui a caché, qui a savé, et qui a une expérience. Mais on compte qu'il y a une place. Nous, nous pouvons assurer que la commission qui a senti votre concept, ce n'est pas un bagage qui a été cassé, à quoi dit c'est juste un bon qui est là. Nous avons l'air de dire, Brown, il n'y a pas de rôle pour jouer, nous avons gardé différents côtés, différentes musiques, sa musique là qui a dit. Qui s'est dansé à Kadi, nous ne pouvons pas connaître ces bails là. Right, right, he said, right, sir. And it comes to the whole, the whole thing of the creative work. You know, that's the other thing too. I mean, a lot of work is created. I'm happy that you mentioned the calypso and so on. But if you go through the, through the years and so on, you know. It has always been the creation of music is always coming out of what is happening. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the Calypsoni and him or herself have spoken of a lot of the issues in society, you know. And sometimes, if we go back to a lot of it, if the policymakers alone would listen and understand, they actually need the, the, the solutions to some of in, in, to some of the problems that we have in some of those very songs. The Calypsonian has always been the one who, not just the Calypsonian, but the creator, creative persons who create the work and so on, whether it is in sculpting or whatever it is, is the one who actually has been in the forefront of that emancipation process. You know. Okay, so we will hold that thought because we want to play a clip, take a listen. Now I'm going to start to sing it. So from this year's Calypso, I believe it's from South Tent, in a reference to how does Calypso and Carnival, in fact, Carnival, how is it connected to emancipation? Because people believe there's no connection at all. And so we will take a look at this little clip and listen. A is for Africa, B is for Black. And so we'll go to the little clip and don't mind the singing, but... <laughs> We'll have a discussion on that, and when we return, we'll discover the link between emancipation, carnival, and the essence of Calypso itself. Mm -hmm. A is for Africa, B is for Black, C is for culture, not for pussy or cap. D is for dignity, D is for excellence. How Lewis and Walcott came to make a dance. Africa, B is for Bats. Okay, Charles, take it away. Okay, and of course, person like black and son about reality, how can a cow jump over the moon and those kind of things. So, yes, so the connection, and we must not separate emancipation from the carnival, the calypso, and so on, because that is what the carnival, the calypso, all what was happening before, that is what actually ignited okay the movement for emancipation you know because the enslaved persons they never just sat down there and accepted it you know they use even though for example they did not commit a physical drum but while they were here they actually made sure that they were able to reincarnate it and so on. not not reincarnate it but build it and so on and there has always been even when we come down to the demi segment now 
Remember, all of that is happening from the grassroots, you know. Ah, but there is a debate about Benny's segment in terms of its content, its lyrics, and um, that is sort of up in the air in terms of the, 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 the sort of crassness of it. Um, how does that relate? Is that directly connected to mm -hmm. emancipation? How is all of that connected? Oh. But a music come which we kiss associate. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask a question. Let's look at the country and western, soca, kaiso. Is there any other thing that you can say? You can say it. Yes, I agree. Is there any other thing that you can say? You can say it. You can say it. You can say it. You can say it. Chanter des nouveaux segments, ça c'est problème là. Puis, manière où qu'a ouais forme, manière où qu'a parlé à ce du fort bagay. C'est manière où qu'a traité comme en société nous. Pour quoi si nous t'as traité forme bien, c'est ainsi chanter au. T'es quoi différent? Et quoi ça? Et quoi seulement ça? Les nous garder mon qui n'est pas la musique. Qui fera si nous qu'a baillé au côté de ça garder quoi il a dit de manière qui différent qu'on ambassade qu'il tire c'est ainsi. Pour yo, pour chanter yo réfléchir à bagay qui différent. Et nous pas qu'à faire ça. Le musique de nous segment tout commencé et puis jeune dit voyez, nous partez pour un rôle pour dire nous on est un talent mais on veut on veut les judéo. Nous quittez yo les musiques qui ont été sur YouTube avec yo millions de monde ça vieille musique yo mon les paye pour yo aller l'autre pays nous ça fait un an j'ai tenté ça là nous voulons attirer. Pas quoi ici c'est quoi ça y est nous ni pour changer mais nous qu'à Parler et puis mon, nous car ouais, t'as là, y en a là, d'où est cela? Et pas seulement des nouveaux segments, t'as toute musique non, un soca, kaiso, un tout bagay. Qui manier nous car les citoyens qui ni bon principe. Et puis même si si tu vois sur y en a parlé à ce pas de bon, y en a même qui a parlé à ce si les choses pour faire bagay plus mais. But there is an argument that the music is a part of our um, sort of sexuality as a nation. And the Calypso, the Dene segment, is an expression of freedom. Would you agree to that? And in that expression of freedom, um, you are allowed to be. So is that a way of being? We saw women. Nous n'avons pas besoin de ça, mais nous n'avons pas besoin de responsabilité aussi. Parce que tout ça nous fait, il n'y a pas de conséquences. Ou sans chanter, mais chanter à même, il peut affecter les autres gens, il peut affecter les gens qui sont levés. Donc, nous n'avons pas besoin de ça, mais nous n'avons pas besoin de responsabilité. Qui est-ce que nous avons balancé Ça, c'est une question. Qui est-ce que nous avons balancé Et qui est-ce que nous avons balancé Vini parler puis on parle pas seulement de yo ça au cachetier pas bon mais on nous cachetier bagay qui plus meilleur. But in Charlo. Comme tu dis. Ça ça parle quoi là? What I was saying too is the fact that I remember when the Denry segment guys came out, Subans and Mighty. They actually came into a calypso tent. They saw it yoti. And people never listened to them. Actually, people walked out on them. Look at where they are today. They, most of their gigs are actually overseas, you know. If you want the guys, you can't even get them. In other words, the world out there is seeing maybe what we are not seeing or what we are not understanding. And that is why we come and we talk about emancipation. It has always been with the movement of the ordinary, what we call the ordinary person on the ground. It is not the officials that get that done, you know. It is those guys, the younger, when I say the younger persons, the community persons, because of what they are seeing, because of what they are, they are feeling, they sing about it, you know. So I don't want to use a word, <laughs> but the problem is that we try to play, we are so sanctimonious, we are so pious and so on, but I'm sure the Denry segment kind of, mu of, of music, they'll tell you they see it in the La Marguerite and the things. I mean, I grew up in the country area. Maybe solo? Yeah, and the solo and so on. You understand? All of that, a lot of that is part of the African culture and so on. And don't forget that a lot of us have that African descendant, see, you know? 
So, so what's we your, what's we your sentiment rates. in essence? Mm. You're telling me, honey, mm. uncle, honey, uncle is similar. Mm. The demi segment is similar to is that same voice of what we deem as the griot, the storyteller. That's right. Uh, uh, Calypso then is a storyteller too. You know, all of it. When you really look at it, that is what has been happening. But then sometimes we just try to. I guess marginalized or maybe because of who is involved, where it came from and so on. And there again, we, we, we have a, a sort of discrimination, you know, where we keep on dividing, you know, even in terms of the way somebody from Shrozel might speak to that of you fought, you know, and we say, well, you're speaking bad English or thing. There's nothing like bad language. Your so environment creates even the tone of how you speak. So within that context, are we saying that the connection between carnival is a, is, is a celebration that was connected to emancipation? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. within that celebration, we should celebrate who we are in terms of our current situation, um, what we have evolved, what cultural elements that we have evolved. Yes, we came with a memory of cultural aspects of Africa, but we have sort of elevated it and it has evolved. So that emancipation is a celebration of that. Are we saying that? Well, some what I be say emancipation is a movement. It's not an activity that is a lot of development. It's 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 a lot of development. Environment will live here. The problem is more every um near sick new women that live here actually masala. We're seeing carnival, see emancipation. Let us go there, man. For the whole time we get the Africa, see a bag. I'm not part of accepted. Man, you go there. Man, you go parle. She view a lecole, a place to buy, couleur, la peau. Qui mon ou kamai ou pas kamai? Qui mon ou kafeish? Ça c'est un société qui qui ni problème actuellement ça là qui ni nous pour toi nous ni pour toi va aussi et puis pour nous même en carnaval là nous garder pan là nous garder en musique là jouer drum pop là tout ces bails ça qui venir ensemble et dans manière nous ni pour pas seulement les arts mais monde là qui a participé à l'idée qui ça il a fait pour eux même pour un petit boy et un petit fille qui a participé à des panoramas, qu'est-ce qu'il a fait pour eux Pour eux, je viens de ça là. De là, mon gars dit, ça ne va pas amener personne à l'argent. Mais en même temps, nous avons un petit boy qui a une chaise, qui a bien pu être là sur le pan, et qui a le Dubaï avec jouer avec mon ami musique. Nous avons une commune là, puis nous avons eu un gang, nous avons eu un pan, un gang et un pan. Ça fait une différence au développement, ça a dit um, human development. Il y a un gros rôle. Là, nous réfléchissons aussi à ce que nous avons fait avec les cultes qui sont Nous avons célébré la fête de la fête ici, nous avons fait des africains, des indiens, et puis il y a différents gens qui sont venus ensemble, qui ont affecté nos consommations. Quand nous avons parlé, nous avons fait des gens qui viennent ici pour expérimenter ce qui s'est passé. Même si nous avons parlé de ce dernier segment, je n'ai jamais vu la vie, mais je n'ai jamais vu un homme qui sort du Japon, qui a dansé le dernier segment. Puis si nous avons parlé de ce qui s'est passé sur Internet et sur les réseaux sociaux, nous avons vu que les gens qui ont été dit, la musique s'est passé ici, moi j'ai ça tellement, quand ils viennent faire ici pour ne pas participer, puis ça différent, le passage de ça a pris ce côté. Dominique, Dominique Nicardas, je suis dans ici, c'est l'issue de l'ennemi segment. Mais en termes de cette connexion, je veux dire, nous avons joué la chanson par le Calypso. Commission. Commission. Reconnaissant l'Afrique est pour l'Afrique, et c'est pour les Blacks, et c'est pour la culture. Est-ce qu'il est en train de faire a, a general statement in terms of our cultural representation in carnival 
and trying to show us that there is a connection between carnival and our emancipation, that, that celebration. So I'm just throwing that out there uh, in, in terms of that particular song, why at this time that that sort of issue has come to the fore. Because it has to, because we have, for example, when we talk about carnival now, now I say we, the focus seems to be about fits. Carnival is not about fits. And when you look at the experience, how carnival came about, what it is about, I mean, even when the church accepted it as pre-Lent and so on, there was something that was happening in terms of, yes, there's deity, it came from the thing because, as I said, carnival ignited the emancipation process, that freedom, remember people were thinking and that what they actually did was to mimic the persons, so you had the costumes and the music and everything was happening. What we have done now is that we have, well, yes, we have changed the date of carnival from the pre-Lent to the post-Lent kind of thing. But you would notice that with your question, and I come back to the ancestral spirit, there was something spiritual about carnival, you know? Something spiritual, and that is why carnival always ended with the burning of the spirit, Vaval. Tiwi Vaval. Okay, Tiwi Vaval. And maybe something that maybe we could look back at. Since we were, well, the time we changed carnival from the pre-Lent to now, we have not really, really buried Vaval, you know? So is that spirit on the land? Is it still roaming? Because now that we have carnival in July or whatever thing we, we think, the country is just in a fetish mood for 365. There's no time to sit back and reflect and take a deeper consciousness of yourselves and think of, you know, it, there are times in our life where we have to sit down and look at what is happening, but we just go fetting for 365. You notice it? The fetting. So the carnival did something. You allow your merriment for the two days or two weeks or whatever it is, and you sat back after, you had your penance, and you did a couple of things. You redeem yourself again. It is just like, I mean, you, you take, when you were going to school, you would have um, to take your semi and so on, your purging and so on. It was just a matter of refreshing yourself again for the, the next cycle. So maybe that is something we have to look at. And um, I mean, I remember Gefru, our leader, he always said, you see that thing about where we have not buried Vaval? Maybe we even have to look at where did the murder rate started coming up? Because there's a lot of blood on the land. Is that spirit just roaming? There's ancestral value to the carnival. It is not just about fits. There's much more than tourists coming here for Thing. Tourists will come here for fits at any time in the year. They don't have to wait for carnival. But in a sense, the point I'm trying to um, understand is that there's that connection between our emancipation yeah. and carnival. I want to say that I want to say that I want to um, Lania Pua Uteni Oshun Mapakidi. Um, it's the African in me, Shaka Zulu. It's the African in me. Epi Lamun Nipodio, Kimunu, Kimunu, it was a Afriche. Dele Ipaka way represented a different place, or suppose a way. Epi Savle di Emancipation Poco Fini. Let us get a system education of the six short gumption gadier. If we estimate my a conscious alphabet, we say shy bagay nuni a set me set no quest as a bagay set me see say bagay long lite. System education bagay long lite. Manya nuka gadier di kimun ki belek pabel say a shabe. Manya ya su shabe me kulera poyo si pose plibla. Ça c'est un système long lité. Là nous garder des affaires gouvernance non. Système Westminster ça pas système non. Ça c'est un système à l'autre pays qui pas qu'à travailler Dieu bon pour nous. Là nous garder um, mon qu'à travailler ensemble pour développement un pays qui est autant petit qu'on s'en est. Quand tu divises yo à nous car ouais 
moi même mon voix à ce pour oui sous pays là système là ni pour faire ni ça là nous là nous garder à maman ici ici qui aller euh l'école toute l'école l'école c'est quoi de et là ni dit que bagage qui a fait au sept ni c'est pas connaître les nous n'y a problème si on s'acquitte à l'école, on ne pas qu'on ait fait cette fleuve cette mission, on passe à il s'accoule de main et on passe à même pas les couilles, on passe à même instruire les couilles. Nous avons toujours des problèmes et nous avons toujours des émancipations pour pour finir. Donc les nous les nous ni tel carnaval et nous ni bah écoute caïso et c'est un milieu pour nous garder quoi nous. Elle dit cette mission, ça c'est mon là où il est. Nous ni pour faire plus mais nous ça fait plus mais. Là, nous avons été dans ces jeunes cas et ça, et nous avons été dans les jeunes cas et ça, qui étaient sortis de l'école avec Maria. Nous avons été dans les jeunes cas et ça, c'est beau, 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 mais papa est abusé, et en école, il dit ça, il passe à point dans l'école. Donc, là, il y a des problèmes avec les petits chats, ce n'est pas un problème avec les petits chats, la Kaili pas sauf pour lui. Et qui a dit nous, coûtez moins. Et là nous coûtez, quand tu as l'autre diable, là nous coûtez, quand il soit sept ici. Et c'est à ta pour payer, du bout de côté, et garder quoi. Alors, on a dit nous, looking into our past, and is it essential for us to create heroes out of emancipation? And I'm referring to Petroni Doom, where we created a sort of monument in honor of her revolutionary spirit. So I want to talk about the impact of Petroni and where do you see us going in terms of creating more of those heroes that will sink into our psyche in, in order for us to understand ourselves as a nation, so I'm, both of you, anybody could respond. We're talking about our heroes, and that's good. So we are, it is not the European persons who, of course, <laughs> the bocage, the this, the that, and so on. We have now, for our research, understood that there are persons who actually help in the whole question of emancipation. And that is where I think the hero aspect is coming out. And like you said last year, when you did the research on Petrolina, you actually found that, you, you know. And it comes back to this whole, why was she, in terms of, it was, her, it was, it was it's because of her rebellion and that kind of thing. So, the and persons naturally would not have known about her because, of course, naturally she went against the status quo, right? So, not, all of that was done play because when your history is not written by you but by your oppressor, we know what happens. So I'm happy that that kind of thing is happening so that we could identify. And even now when we talk about political independence, 44 something years, we could now identify with persons who actually help in creating or paving that way for us from the shackles of the colonial powers. So yes, and it is also good in terms of research by, by our, our youngster students, whether it's from primary schools, secondary schools, Alpha Lewis and so on. But these are things, and I think all of that will even help in the whole building up an understanding of our, our society in terms of its, its true history, its true history. And once people, I think, could identify that they will see the, the, the value of themselves. So not because I'm this little black boy, with what we call kinky hair, whatever the thing is, and now <laughs> it comes back to this whole thing. You have your naturalness. There's no sickness with you, but then you go and do all kind of some things with your body, and then you hear you have this cancer, that cancer, and all those kind of things. So, so all of that, the, the way we ate, the, our grandmothers and them, the, 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 the natural seasonings, and so on, we do not affect them in terms of health. So all of those things with the whole question, as you said, rekindling our consciousness, it is of the total wholesomeness of us as our people in terms of our, our own individual selves, our health, our basically all aspects of our life. 
So I'm happy that that is happening, that we could identify persons who fought for our liberation, which of course is part of the emancipation. They stood up against the mighty armies and so on. Like, the, I mean, we talk about Nani from Jamaica and so on. We have those people right here in St. Lucia, and once we do the research, we'll see that they've made an important part for our freedom. Mm -hmm. Tout Le ou gade kote li soa sa la sot, li pa soti. An mitan nou sa. Yo ban nou li soa sa la pou gade kote de manye. Akwa dou pa yen. Se ou ni mou nou bay golone, kopetyone. E ka mou chou. La ni mou nou ki vini avo. Ki te ni pou fe kote ba kote bagay ki pate jis. E kou sa fe menem bagay la chou nou sa la. Ou ni a l'histoire qui est riche. Tout nous qui a servi à nouvelle, par exemple, nous qui a dit à la représentation, il est important pour la jeunesse à cette mission de représentation pour dire, pas seulement pour Petroni, mais c'est Nobel Laureate qui a fait bien, ou ni pour nous tuer le monde, pas à gagner qui ça, pas à l'espoir où ça fait plus meilleur la vie. Et pour les autres mouns, et l'autre pays, ils ne peuvent pas planter vie l'idée de cacher le côté et plus meilleur pour faire le coin à mon riche passé, pour ces cinq messieurs. Et ça, c'est un bagage, nous, nous pouvons travailler à ce pays. En chaîne, nous, même quand des jeunes, c'est cinq messieurs. Pour que vous restiez, c'est cinq messieurs. Cinq messieurs, pas rien. Cinq messieurs, pas rien. Vous pouvez faire bien, cinq messieurs. Comme ça, Le nuka bailone pou petroni dwin, sa pa aga abagay ki pa merite fet, i merite fet. Pis, achay moun pa mem sa, ki sa eslavaj te yye se nisi. Ek manye, i kontine ka fekte nou kwa peyi, kalte wisous la, sante nou, sistem lekol nou, manye alane 1900, Quand tu veux 13 ou 17, à chaque monde partait aller, à mon partie ça allait l'école, à petit l'école. Et quoi ça, ça qu'a pêché au juin, il faut avoir tout avoir, faire plus mal pour quoi avec famille, ou puis si on parle d'éducation, quand on va aller, quand tu tout avoir là où tu as juin pour pour tu veux pour faire mon passe à faire, quoi ça est bien pour toi pour, bah il en est pas seulement pour pêcher, mais pour les autres monde qui cherchent bien un pays non. So do you really think that we have done enough work surrounding Petroni in terms of getting her into the psyche of the nation, in terms of solutions, our schools? Has there been enough work from emancipation last year up until now? And that's a, an honest question. And if you can answer, um, what do you think that we can do in terms of that? Let's we'll start with Chalo. Well, the process started last year, and we have to continue. Now, the, even with the Emancipation Committee, we must not see it as a, a one-shot thing, but it has to be a continuous thing, not just for leading up to planning an event. It has to be a working, I'm committee right through the year because there's a lot to be done, especially if you're going to reclaim consciousness, which has to do with education and so on. So we have to have the structure, we have to have the support and structure, and the support, financial and otherwise, will make it happen. Because even in terms of talking about petroleum and so on, how are you going to do it if you are going to have to disseminate the information? Either we have to get the books written on her and so on. Of a book. It is a book that someone produced, Dawn French produced a right. coloring book right. um, in terms of 
cataloging Dr. Mary. Um, Petrin is um, not her life, but the event that led to her revolutionary spirit. So, in a sense, we may have ignited um, a response from persons, but is it enough? No, that's what we're saying. We are started, but we have to look at the bigger picture if this thing is going to really tick the, in the manner that we want it, where it, it, it is basically, for example, it's supposed to be in, uh, in our school libraries and so on. We're supposed to have all that information there. It's could even part on the book list and so on. This is where we're going to be able to begin to talk about our heroes using the Derek Walcott books and so on. Safa Lewis and so on, even as Safa, we cannot be talking about those things that they are heroes, they are Nobel laureates and so on, and there's nothing there mm -hmm. for persons even to come and say, okay, I've heard about Petrolina, where can I get that information? Where is there? What can I read up about her and so on? So it is not just about identifying the heroes also, but making sure that the support is there to enable that once we identify our heroes and so on, that there's information there so that persons right through the year, right through the century, they are able to talk and see, understand who Petrolina is and other persons. Yes, yes, Et puis, pour faire tout travail là qui est important, ça nous commence, nous avons besoin de faire la participation de tout le monde. Le ministre de l'Éducation, le ministre de l'Éducation, um, c'est un bon bagage pour le ministre de l'Éducation, c'est une émancipation importante et qui fait investissement. Nous, nous, nous pouvons continuer l'investissement et nous pouvons pou marcher à soi. Pour les autres, nous Même si nous ne pouvons pas là, nous avons gardé et joué un bagage sur le corps. Nous avons parlé de la place où nous avons joué, nous avons cherché sur le corps. Nous avons quitté cette mission pour aller dans la terre pour connaître le nom. C'est le monde qui a été passé à cette mission. Ça a fait sens. C'est un système que nous avons construit pour faire le travail et l'émancipation fait. Et pour Jean Saint ici aussi, ouais, c'est responsabilité aussi. Il n'y a pas de changer, je dis, um, au chôn. Who is to blame? Nous tous, nous pouvons faire rôle, non? L'année de février, il y a un commun, là. L'église, là, nous pouvons faire rôle, là. Gouvernement, nous pouvons faire rôle, là. Ticha, mon qui, qui a, par exemple, c'est mon là qui t'es qu'à, suivre religion qu'elle est pour dire l'histoire dire l'histoire pour venir parler à ce ces bagages là qui a affecté et pour nous coûter pas pour nous seulement ouais quand nous te dit uh, commencement discussion ça là émancipation pas seulement pour moi ou c'est pour la vie du monde même manière célébration qu'il dit que nous c'est pas pour un mois en octobre C'est pour la vie du monde. Nous pouvons faire connexion pour nous garder, manière nous qu'à parler, manière nous qu'à être formé puis nom, manière nous qu'à lever famille, qui ça nous qu'à manger, ça nous qu'à créer national, des choses qui sont ici, pour que nous qu'à mettre ma droit ça à ce qu'on nous, pour que nous qu'à parler, manière nous qu'à parler, et, et puis manière nous qu'à garder um, division, quoi de monde qui sortit à nous et puis à ce pays, côté ça sorti, tout ça c'est l'histoire. As a people, take heed of Marcus Garvey's counsel, repeated by Bob Marley in song, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. In our evolution as a society, we place emancipation and give it the significance that it deserves. Expectations for 
Ça, c'est un gros question. Je hein? voulais nous continuer à ce chemin nous commencer pour dire l'histoire nous importante et pour faire plus de monde participer et pour prendre une foyer pour cet monsieur qui pas oui vers cet monsieur par accident et pour la bataille là, bizarre, nous te commencer nous même nous pour continuer. Et puis là, il y a un chat de travail pour faire. Euh, place de chercher pour que l'on ait gardé, il y a des différents côtés. Par exemple, pour faire cette fleur, cette messie, la rose et puis Marguerite. Pour que nous puissions célébrer, pour que nous puissions ces chantiers, pour que nous puissions prendre temps. Alors nous puissions parler pour nous apprendre plus à ce qu'on nous. Nous puissions avoir un pays qui est plus fort et nous voulons continuer pour ça. Nous voulons avoir plus cette messie, nous sommes tous sorti de participer, moi des questions, bail l'idée pour nous faire ce mouvement plus fort aussi. Okay. For me, is that we continue, we have planted the seed, you have to water it, you have to make sure and in water in it, you have to make sure that the support is there. That's the key thing. It is not, you know, just a token kind of thing. It has to be much more than that if you are very serious. And I mean, moving from a situation where only about $20,000 was allocated in a budget, so now I think it's over $200,000. That in, that in itself is, is good, but we know as a committee that there much more has to be done in terms of that support. Uh, but all in all, you know, if we, as I said, we have to, we, we are conscious of the work that has to be done, and we have to make others conscious of what has to be done. Because I think um, persons understand, but as we always see, the support in terms of finance and so on is not, because if you want to do programs and so on, it is not just about a word of mouth, or yes, I like, to, I want to do this. Put the money where your mouth is, so, however they see it. And we realize that is one of the situations that always exists. We don't want to just start this thing and it doesn't continue. Or for it to be in a situation where we're in a five-year cycle kind of thing that um, one government comes in and it says there's no need for that. We don't want that to happen because we see the value and we see the importance of this to our nation, to our people in its true development. We don't want to be dependent on the find ourselves in the IMS situation because even when you talk about the land, the use of the land and so on, and we talk about people being landless and so on. No, we have a lot of persons who have land, you know, but what programs we do we put in place to help them become economic viable that they don't have to depend on leaving ancillary and coming to cast trees or another area where but they have that economic base there with the, the land and how they could utilize it. So these are things, you know, when we talk about the old emancipation, the social policies, those things have to also help change. So we have started, I'm happy that we have, um, as we said, raised the consciousness, and we hope that the powers that be will actually see the value of the work of the Emancipation Committee. Thank you, thank you, guys. So, but I also want to say that for, in terms of our expectations this year, some of the activities from 2022. We are looking forward to it again in 2023. Um, and it was the whole embodiment of using the motif of the arts and creativity to reach the, the general public. And it's part of a greater scheme of more than enkindling the consciousness in terms of the past, but looking at our current situation and really projecting towards the future. And I think we have a lot to be grateful for, to be thankful for, and I think we have a lot to offer in terms of our very own culture, our very own way of thinking and doing things, and that consciousness of that self-love is very much part of enkindling our consciousness. So thank you very much, Raisa and Chalo. And we look forward to this year's emancipation and our virtual launch, which will be coming soon in July. 
and we're asking for some so tuning and be part of emancipation. Emancipation is more than a consciousness. It is a movement. And let's get on to the movement. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Merci à vous.